so today I'm gonna teach you how to make a real sweet potato plus ice cream recipe which is my own it's a cake because you layer different layers and it's my first time cooking so I'll try my best to show you guys let's get started so first we'll need two sweet potatoes and we're gonna wash it with water I'm using a bowl to demonstrate, but you can wash at the sink. Then we're gonna put it on the tray and bake at 200 degrees Celsius with lower heat, like bottom heat. And then we have to bake for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're gonna change to upper heat and bake for another 20 minutes. Afterwards, I'm gonna put the Oreos in the bowl. And in this video, you'll see my hands having water droplets because I wash my hands a lot and because this recipe is really sweet and sticky I have to wash my hands a lot now you're gonna separate the Oreos biscuit from the cream using a knife and you'll gently scoop them out in a different separate bowl Next, we're gonna put the Oreo cream bowl in the fridge and we're gonna roll the Oreo cookies. You'll need a clean plastic bag to put your Oreos and another thing is the rolling pin. I'm using a stone traditional rolling pin but you can use the normal wooden rolling pin too. Now we're gonna roll the Oreos and because my camera was shaking, I had to, I didn't flam everything. Carefully roll the cookies in the plastic bag and make sure the plastic bag doesn't pop. Once your sweet potatoes has reached 20 minutes, you're gonna turn to upper heat and bake for another 20 minutes. You can check your sweet potatoes by poking with a knife. And if it sinks right in, it means that it's really soft and it's cooked. If it's still hard, you have to cook for another 20 minutes with upper heat and see if it's cooked again. Also be careful when you're peeling the skin of the sweet potatoes because it's gonna be really hot. So make sure you leave it to cool down first for about 15 minutes before you start peeling the skin. After you peel the skin, you can finally Slice them up into cubes and we're gonna mash them with the back of the spoon. I'm gonna repeat the same step for my other sweet potato as well. Now we can finally prepare the base of our cake. So we're gonna put the Oreo biscuits underneath. Make sure you spread them well. Uh, you can see how I'm using the spoon later to make sure that there's no block then we're gonna put one scoop of ice cream into our oreo cream we're gonna top that layer on top of oreo biscuits i mean oreo cookies and make sure it's spread well i didn't have enough ice cream but you can use more ice cream if you wish now we're gonna add the mashed sweet potato and layer it on top of the ice cream make sure you spread well and there's no bumps underneath and make sure it's very flat and smooth use the back of your spoon to make sure everything is spread carefully now for the final part you just need to add the ice cream you can put as much as you want and Mine was a little melt back then and I was almost disappointed until I put it in the fridge and it was okay. So if you have melted ice cream, that's okay as well. I put mine in the fridge overnight just to make sure the ice cream doesn't melt again and it works fine.
Now we have our recipe Oreo sweet potato plus ice cream cake It was very nice to see My recipe works out just fine And I wish to make more videos like this in the future And the recipe, it tastes very sweet and delicious It actually tastes like something very like a luxurious dish from the hotel restaurant and I'm amazed how it turns out Thanks for watching this video and make sure you try it out too See you next time